Now the story of a starship crew exploring the galaxy and the one captain that kept them all together. This is Arrested Development, the next generation. It was May 4th on the USS Enterprise, and everyone was looking forward to that day because it was also Captain Picard Day. Unfortunately, Captain Picard no longer looked forward to the festive day because last year, Worf volunteered to do the music. Picard was not a fan. Picard called Worf into his ready room to have a talk about his music choices. Sir, I have acted within the boundaries of Klingon law and tradition. The High Council would seem to agree they consider the matter closed. I don't. Worf refused to play anything other than Klingon opera. Picard asked Worf flat out to play something else. Anything else. No, sir. That was not the answer Picard wanted to hear. Worf was fired as the music director for Captain Picard Day. Saddened, he decided to do some recreational Klingon torture to take his mind off things. <laughs> now that there was a musical opening, the crew leapt at the opportunity to provide music for Captain Picard Day. Riker grabbed his trombone and practiced day and night. Data contacted his friend at D Space Nine and bought a Gamma Quadrant style boombox for playing tunes. At his weekly therapy session with Counselor Troy, Troy recommended to Barkley that he apply to be music director to overcome his crippling shyness. Barkley reluctantly decided to do so and created a giant DJ system on the holodeck. Because he was so nervous no one would like him, he went under the name DJ Stargazer. Unfortunately, the music he was playing was too loud and it echoed throughout the ship. Is there a problem, Jordy? I hear music. Music? Eventually the captain heard it and was enamored. This was the music he wanted for Captain Picard Day. When Picard asked who produced the music, Barclay stepped forward and said it was from Stargazer. Thank you, Mr. Barclay. You're welcome, Captain. Unfortunately for Barkley, he neglected to mention that he was referring to his DJ alias, and not Captain Picard's former ship. Thinking the music was coming from the Stargazer, the Captain returned to his old vessel, and was upset to find that he was the only person there. He contacted Worf to find out where the rest of the crew was. That wrong! but didn't realize Worf was still indulging in recreational Klingon torture that Picard mistook for Klingon opera. <laughs> Having a flashback to how he felt, Picard took out his phaser and fired on the communication panel. When Picard woke up, he was in sickbay, and to his delight, he heard the music he wanted to have play at Captain Picard Day. Barclay explained to Picard that he, in fact, was DJ Stargazer and that the music came from him. Good. I look forward to your report, Mr. Broccoli. Barclay. If you will excuse me. Erase all programs filed under Reginald Barclay. And that ended the DJ career of Lieutenant Reginald Endicott Barclay III. Accept Program 9. Or maybe not. On the next Arrested Development, The Next Generation, Captain Picard tries his hand at DJing. <laughs>